Good morning, my friends. Welcome back to another vlog. Today is Monday, January 11th, and I'm in school. <laughs> Big shocker. Um, I just walked in the door, and I'm running a little bit later today than normal. It's like 6.50, and I'm usually here by 6.30, but I let myself sleep an extra 30 minutes, so I'm not mad about that. Um, first of all, I can't be the only person who comes to school with, like, 85 bags. I know I'm not the only person. Um, okay. Some things that I need to do today are, oh, it's superhero day. <laughs> well, I dropped the bomb on that one. Okay. Well, I think I have a cape somewhere. <sighs> There's just too much, you guys. Too much. Too much going on. Um, okay. Today, we are doing a lesson on animal beaks. And part of that lesson involves some stuff. So I'm going to try to get that stuff now. So I need chopsticks, which I don't have and I had no intention of getting. Instead, what are my shoes doing weird stuff? I don't know. Instead, I decided to use the tips of pencils because I thought tips of pencils are great because they work just like a chopstick. I don't know. That was my thought process. Um, I also need cups or boats. So I got those, um, I need beans, which I have plenty of. I need string, which I know I have in here somewhere. Is that bad? I know I have string. Um, I have rice that I have in my little backpacky thing. I know I probably need some plates and where's my string? And wow, I'm looking like a crazy person. Ah, there's my string. Okay. String. I'm gonna have to cut this up and do lots of tiny pieces, but that is a okay. Um, maybe I'll use these tiny Dixie cups for the water. That would be smart. So basically what the kids are going to be doing is they're going to be simulating different beaks using different materials. So their beaks are going to be chopsticks, clothes pins, which I also need to get, and then spoons. And they're going to be picking up various objects like rice, beans, strings, and then using something for water. I forget, I'm gonna have to go look. But I do have clothespins. That simulates one type of beak. Okay, that'll be enough right there. So I'm just getting everything pulled out. And then my homeroom kids, I have a couple of assistants who will come in and like beg to get something done. So I have that that they can do. By the way, if you girls are watching this because my students do know about my YouTube channel now, mm -hmm. um, they're probably watching this. Hello, my sweeties. I appreciate all of your help all the time. You guys are just my rock stars. Anyway, okay, so I'm gonna get all of this stuff prepped and then get all my technology turned on and everything ready to go. The great thing about teaching um, departmentalized is that I teach the same thing all day. So I really only have to prep everything one time and then throughout the day, I just kind of get better at it. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna get everything ready to go. And then I do have some new glasses to show you guys. Oh. My goodness, I cannot wait. So I'm doing two separate collabs. No, we can't have that. Um, oh, I did wanna show you guys really quick before I forget. Last Friday, we did a camouflage project. Super cute how they turned out. I'm gonna turn you guys around. Was to camouflage an animal using materials that they brought from home, so like their environment. And so they turned out so good. Like this one's a snake. This one's a snake. Can you guys barely see it? We have a deer, so cute. Another snake, 
This one's a cheetah. So cute. And then the rest of them, same kind of deal. They camouflaged an animal of their choice. And they were given kind of a challenge. Some of them ended up being like just a bunch of stuff thrown on top of their, their animal. But some of them turned out really good. Like this one, you can barely see the little chameleon kind of like curled up on the branch. Um, but I thought they turned out really good. And um, the kids had a lot of fun making them. So basically the challenge was to choose an animal that they thought would camouflage in the materials that they brought in. So obviously like... This is the only African animal we had because these were the grasses that were brought in. Everyone else kind of had to choose like a forest animal or some sort of like lizard because they had a lot of green leaves and things like that. So they had to really think about what type of animal would actually use their stuff to camouflage themselves. So that was really fun. Um, this week we're focusing on the functions of beaks. We're gonna be talking about the brain. We're gonna be talking about the eye. And then next week, we'll jump into plant structures. So if you can tell, I am teaching animal structures and functions last week, this week, and then next week is plants. And then that is it for our three-week unit on structures and functions. And then we will move into adaptations and um, classifying animals. So that'll be really fun. Um, okay, so I'm going to go get this stuff set up. And then I want to show you guys my new glasses because I am really excited about them. Okay, so I really quickly wanted to show you guys my new glasses. So... I am partnering up with Glasses USA for this video to share with you guys a couple of new frames that I purchased, uh, not only for myself, but for a few of my friends and family members. So I'm going to show you the glasses that I got for my friends and family first, and then I will show you guys the frames that I got for myself. So the very first pair is a pair that I got for my husband because he also wears glasses and he's been a little jealous of, you know, my collaborations with Glasses USA. He's like, why don't I get any glasses? And I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna ask them. And so they allowed me to order glasses for my husband, one of my coworkers, and one of my dear friends, in addition to one for me. So um, these are the glasses that I got for Scott and they're just basic, um, kind of like a Ray-Ban inspired frame. They're the Muse um, frame and I will have everything linked down below you guys just in case you weren't sure um, but these are nice they're great for men they're matte um, and they came in his prescription so you just kind of type your prescription in there and then you can select different types of frames these are blue light blocking frames or sorry lenses um, which are great for when Scott is at home just kind of like browsing around on the internet or watching TV or playing video games or whatever it is that he does at home um, they are a little bit big on his face and I think these are in medium um, he just has a skinny head you know um, but he probably won't wear these to work just because they do kind of like if he were to shake his face a lot they do fall down um, but he really likes them and I think they look really good on him and then my dear dear friend Nicole who I work out with every day um, she's a school nurse And so I ordered a pair for her as well. And this is the frame set that I got for Nicole. And I actually really like these. I'm gonna try them on. I know I'm not gonna be able to see, but I think they're really cute. And they are the Amelia E brand on Glasses USA. So these are all Glasses USA house brands, by the way. Um, and they're super cute. They're very affordable. And these are kind of like, they're almost, I don't know, are they black? I think they're black. They kind of look like a blacky brown to me, like in person. But I think these are really cute. Again, kind of like a Ray-Ban inspired style. And again, you just, I think these are blue light blocking. I think I got all frames blue light blocking because I know we all sit in front of screens all day. So anyway, those are the pair that I got for Nicole. The pair that I ordered for Maria is not here yet. Maria is my teammate. She teaches ELA. Um, they are, in process so i will share those in my next glasses usa video but the pair that i got for myself these glasses that i'm wearing now these are probably my favorite frames from glasses usa i wear them probably every day and i don't know i think it's because they're like subtle but they're trendy and they're i don't know they're just like perfect for my face so 
these are my favorite pair. So I decided to try them in a different color. And I ended up getting a pink pair, which I really like. So on a day that I want to kind of like tone it down or mix in a little bit of color with my outfit, um, I can reach for these pink ones. I think they're so cute. Um, and they're the exact same pair of glasses as these ones. So I really do love them. Um, I need to tighten these up a little bit. They're getting a little loose, but they don't match my outfit today though. Do you think? I don't know. Um, but anyway, I love, love these frames and they pretty much, yeah, they are exactly the same. Um, I just love them so much. So I had to get a second pair, but anyway, uh, these are the Atoto, um, and I will link them down below, but again, these are blue light blocking. So if you guys are interested in checking out Glasses USA, um, they really, really are an amazing company. They're very thorough. If they send you the wrong pair of glasses, they will resend you a new pair, um, completely handle all of that kind of stuff. They make sure that you are completely satisfied. They are one of the most, um, versatile glasses companies. They do carry a lot of name brand glasses as well as their own house brand of glasses, which is the ones that I tried on for you today. And when you go to Glasses USA, all you do is enter your prescription information, you select the type of glasses that you would like, so your frames, you select the lenses that you would like, you can get sunglasses, you can get blue light blocking glasses, you can get um, transitions, you can get bifocals, pretty much anything that you need for your eyes. And then you put that in, they come in the next couple of weeks and you're good to go. So if you guys are interested in any of the frames that I have here, they are linked down below as well as a coupon code for you guys to check out and get a little bit of a discount from me to you. Okay guys, so I'm doing a little experiment this week. I am actually cutting out carbs and dairy from my diet this week and seeing how I feel afterwards or about <laughs> not eating dairy or carbs. I think I'll be okay as long as I really focus on when I'm at home and not eating food here. <laughs> so like eating a lunch that's brought to kids. Um, so for lunch today, I'm having two eggs with some of my favorite guacamole salsa from Herdez. And I'm also gonna have a banana and my superfood tab. So I'm hoping that will keep me satisfied. It should for a while because I'm not really used to eating breakfast. Um, however, my lunch is very small and carbless. So I thought I probably need to eat breakfast just so that I don't pass out, you know, probably. Okay, I just want to make sure that I have everything that I need for this little experiment. Okay, so we need plastic cups, chopsticks, we're cutting that, spoons, we have those, and some clothespins, string, got it, beans, got it, Rice, got it. Nectar, which is water, got it. Okay. I'm also going to show the kids how to find a timer on their computers.
box open. The activity with the beaks was super fun. I wish I would have had more string. So I think what I'm gonna do is have my second period class cut the string into smaller pieces before they start and then try to collect the string with their beaks. Sorry, this is like the prettiest angle ever, but it is what it is. Anyway, um, I did have quite a few students log into Google Meet as well, which was very exciting because it's just amazing to see like these kids having responsibility for their own learning. It's just amazing. So anyway, um, I'm also going to do some grading from last week during this prep period. So I am going to just hang out here, you guys, and then I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. my friends. So it is now 3.30. I'm just kind of sitting around waiting for my contract time to come up at 3.50. As you can see, I've changed my clothes. So one of the things that I've been really trying to focus on is using my time wisely. And I really have a lot of time at the end of the day because I come in really early and I get things prepped. Um, I work through my lunch, I work through my prep. And so, um, I have been finding that at the end of the day, I'm kind of sitting around waiting for things to happen. So I've been using that time a little bit wisely and I change at school. So every day after school, I go to the gym um, with Vanessa and Nicole. And so I've been changing here at school and it kind of cuts like 10 minutes away from my arrival time at the gym because normally I have to go pick up cash and then go to the gym, get changed and then work out. And by then they're like 10, 15 minutes into their workout and I'm kind of struggling and behind. Both of them have their contract hours at 3.30 and mine are at 3.50 so I'm like always 20 minutes behind them. And so I find that changing at work really helps to um, eliminate that whole 10 minute changing process. So I do use the bathroom at school. I change here. I get my pre-workout mixed. I get my everything ready to go so that all I have to do is run and pick up cash. Today, I completely forgot that my car seat is in the garage because my parents had it while we were in our at our Sedona trip, on our Sedona trip. So I actually have to run home after school today. So I'm gonna be chomping at the bit to leave like right at 3.50 so that I can go and get the car seat, then go get cash, then go to the gym. And then after that, I'm gonna run to Target and pick up just a couple things that we need some chicken nuggets, some toilet paper, and some other little random bits and bobs that you can't get at Trader Joe's. So, um, also we kind of plotted out our virtual schedule for if we do have to go virtual. Um, so I can share that with you guys in another video, but yeah, it is the end of my day. So I think I'm going to go ahead and go you guys and, um, hopefully go home tonight and edit this video and post it because I'm so bad lately. I've been filming. I just don't have the time to sit and edit, which is crazy. I guess I'm just not putting the time aside for it. I could sit and edit every night for like an hour and I would be done. But I just, I'm drained by the end of the day. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and go. You guys have a fabulous, fabulous rest of your week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.